Good morning, John. I have a frustration with one of the ways that the world works. The more attention and money you have, the more you can use that attention and money to get more attention and money, which is the way that attention and money consolidates. This process makes things less equal. It's just how it works. And I fall into this trap because I have more resources now and I tend to want to push them towards the things that we're working on, whether that's SciShow or Crash Course or Dear Hank and John. As I will be doing that next week for a thing that I'm excited about. Listen to next week's Dear Hank and John if you want to know more about it. I'm going to, right now, turn some of the attention that is on me onto things that I freaking love. One. The Brain Scoop. I just really love it, and Emily is amazing. So if you haven't checked it out lately, do that. Two, the Applied Science YouTube channel. Watching this guy try to take a picture of toothpaste with an electron microscope is almost as entertaining as watching him build a refrigerator that is cooled by rubber bands. Three, Super Sam stuff, and also so many other vloggers that are really good. Every time I find somebody like Sam, I get super excited. Four, we're gonna do some podcasts in the middle here. Tannis. It's amazing and creepy and lovely and weird, and I can't say anything more than that without ruining it. Criminal. There's a lot of really great crime podcasts out there. This is my favorite one, personally. Six. You must remember this with Karina Longworth. She's so good. She's so smart. She knows so much, and the history of Hollywood is so fascinating and also applicable to the, my life. And number seven, my last podcast, Humanize Me, which is a podcast about like secular community building and also other stuff by a guy who was formerly a big deal in the evangelical Christianity community. Eight, Stephen Suptic, and also all of the other former SourceFed hosts, but Stephen's content is so weird and great and hilarious. Nine, Evelyn from the internet, who always makes me laugh, but also I feel very welcomed into her content and also like it gives me a chance to see stuff from a different perspective. 10, Zidnaf. Linguistics and Stick Figures. 11, Lindsay Ellis, who always makes me laugh. She has a really strong community and she always has amazing takes on whatever content or cultural thing she's talking about. 12, this one video from a channel that has a bunch of great videos, but it's called How Does Do Science. It is the best video that could exist on how science works. 13, Miles Chronicles. Don't drink while watching this channel. I mean like any, like not like get drunk. I mean like don't drink, you'll spray and choke. It's hilarious. And of course, no list of underappreciated media would be complete without the great Gunnarola. There's so much great creation in the world and we are definitionally gonna miss out on most of it. A lot of it's gonna happen in languages we don't understand, in cultures that we're not a part of, in places we'll never go or see. As an example, the first time I watched Keddy, uh, in the background, just for a moment, I saw this piece of graffiti, this street art. And I'm a sucker for street art, for good design, for cats. And the image struck me so hard that I was like, I want to talk to this person. I want to put that cat on a shirt and I want to sell it. And I want this person to get paid where they never thought they were going to be paid for the really amazing art. You may have even noticed me shouting into the void of social media being like, can anyone get me in touch with this person? I tried like 30 different ways. I got within one degree of separation four or five different times. I talked to people who knew him or had known him and couldn't get in touch with him right now. And so I gave up. I was bummed about it, but I I gave up. And then, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email, and in the subject line, nothing in the body, in the subject line it said, I am Turkish street artist Kedic Izdem. And we are now selling his products on DFTBA.com. There's a week-long pre-order, two different shirt designs, both of them on a unisex or a woman's cut, and also a lapel pin of the original cat that I first saw. I love that our newly connected, more global society gives us an opportunity to see more of the cool creations and for more people to create professionally. And I think that we should work to take advantage of these really cool opportunities that this connection brings us. John, there are links to all of the things that I talked about that I super, super love down in the description. I hope that you people check them out and love them too, and I will see you on Tuesday.